Hi everyone. Um, I'm a little nervous. I wanted to make this video because I wanted to explain why I have decided not to vote for Democrats probably ever again. I am an independent voter. Um, I'm unaffiliated, not part of any party. And I feel like I am the demographic that the Democrats should be trying to get but it seems like they're only trying to go for their radical base. I am not a feminist, and it just seems like if you're not a feminist, the Democrats don't really seem to be talking to you. They just kind of seem to be regurgitating feminist points that I'm just not interested in. Um, so I am embarrassed to say this, but I was watching CNN and MSNBC during the election and not that it's okay to insult President Trump because I don't agree with that either but what really caught my eye um, was when it was just this relentless attack on Trump supporters calling them racist everything racist xenophobic transphobic bigots just in pretty much calling them stupid just were these relentless insults and I was looking at the TV and I was seeing his rallies there were so many people there and so eventually this I just felt they were being so abusive to these you know to, to Trump supporters so I decided one day that I was going to go on my phone to try to you know get to know Trump supporters uh, know why they support him because I just couldn't believe that these thousands millions of people were like pretty much what the media was telling me were the worst people in the world. I just thought there's no way that that could be true. So then I went online and I just was so angry when I I looked at thousands and thousands of hours of just different Trump supporters and saying why they specifically decided to vote for him because all of them have their different reasons. And they were such nice people. They were smart. They were kind, they were loving, they were extremely well informed, and they were actually making arguments. They weren't just name calling, because, you know, newsflash to a lot of people, name calling is not an argument. Calling somebody racist and bigots, it's not an argument. I, it, it, it makes me sad that clearly college is failing us, because I'm, I have my doctorate. So I'm a college educated person and I'm embarrassed to be right now because for some reason a lot of college educated people think name calling is, is some sort of argument and it's going to get people on your side just because you're screaming racist every five minutes. So to, you know, to be honest with you, I saw and I was so angry at how much I was lied to by the media because the Trump supporters were not anything like what they told me they were. So I just, I, then I went down the rabbit hole and I started finding out how much they've lied to me my whole life. How much the media has lied to me my whole life. And I know people think I'm silly because they probably have known this for a long time. Unfortunately, I have my doctorate, but you can be intelligent, but not wise. So I realized I had a very humble experience realizing that I was not wise. Um, I got so angry, I cut my cable. I will never watch the mainstream media again. Um, I get my news from independent media, um, and I'm so much smarter than I ever have been, much more awake than I ever have been, and honestly much more free than I ever have been. Um, to Trump supporters, I am so sorry for, even in the smallest way, if I contributed to your abuse, because I do feel like the media verbally abuses you nonstop. I am so sorry for any part I took in that. Um, I, I may not deserve forgiveness because you guys have been treated so badly, but I hope I can earn it by being better and doing better, and I promise I will be better and I will do better. I don't think it matters who you vote for. You should never be abused, verbally abused, physically attacked, just because of, you have a different opinion or because you voted for Bernie or Hillary or Trump or a third party. This is not how it should be in this country. And, you know, the other thing too is with the, you know, illegal, illegal immigration, I see these people, you know, more of the radical left, 
demanding, demanding, <laughs> demanding that people treat them with kindness, compassion, and grace. You need to start doing that to your own American citizens because you are not treating your American citizens with kindness, compassion, and grace. Because you're not doing that to people that support Trump. You're treating them like garbage. So don't demand that people treat illegal immigrants with kindness until you can start doing that to your own American citizens. That's my thoughts on that. And I just, it makes me sick that these people are demanding that when they're so abusive to their own people. Um, I just, I'm just very sorry. And I, I hope that this platform can bring freedom to people to talk to who they want, to vote for who they want, without people unfriending them, their family cutting them off. This is not how this should be. People are allowed to have their different opinions without being called all, every name in the book. Um, so for that reason, for the, just the way the Trump supporters have been treated, and I didn't vote for Trump, um, so I don't think people think that, you know, I'm just saying, I didn't vote for him. I am very pleased with how he's doing. I am very, very pleased and surprised with how well he's doing. So I will say that I do respect our president. I've respected every president. I wasn't a fan of Obama. I didn't vote for Obama either time because I'm from Illinois and he was a senator from Illinois. So for me, that was a big problem because I know how corrupt Illinois is. Um, so right away, I had, a, I had an issue with him. So, but I always respected him, always, because he was the president. So until, and I, I hate even saying until the Democrats can do better, I don't think I can forgive them for the Russia conspiracy, for how they treated Trump supporters, fellow American citizens. I, I just, I can't forgive them for this. So for that reason alone, this independent voter will never vote a uh, Democrat again. And I don't think they care about me. I don't think they care about what I have to say. Um, but, you know, I think they're losing a lot of voters. And it's a shame that they could care less about any of us. But I know that we care about us and this community seems very loving. And I hope that everybody can, you know, feel like they're being supported no matter who you like, no matter who you vote for. And that's what I hope this community can, can bring us. I wish all of you the best of luck. And I look forward to getting to knowing you more and hearing more of your testimonials. Bye.